A ride around the world on the 40 degree latitude where New York City sits will have you move through cities in Spain, Italy, Turkey, and China. Madrid, Naples, Istanbul, Beijing, and New York are all on the same parallel. I think it's great being at 40 degrees latitude because you get, you know, nice hot summers, um, but also the way that it's located, we also get good winters, you know, we get nice seasons. Even though different cities can be along the same latitude, they don't always have the same weather. Why is that? We have to think about where, where that city is located. Laura Patterson is a meteorologist with the World Meteorological Organization. So if we think about New York City, um, it's on the east coast of the US. Um, so the fact that it's by the coast and you know on the, the border of the sea and the land, that'll influence the weather um, for New York City. So it would be different if it was just an island in the middle of the ocean, and it would be different if it was you know in the middle of a continent thousands of miles away from any coast. According to Stephen DiMartino of NYNJPA Weather, there are other factors as well. Anything from the, the type of waters that you have, whether it's salt or fresh water, how large those waters are, how warm and cold they get, uh, your, your, your proximity to mountain ranges and also uh, deserts and plains, uh, how that impacts the wind flow coming off of those locations. New York City experiences what is classified as a humid subtropical climate zone. If we were to travel around the world at New York City's 40 degree latitude line, what kind of weather would we experience? Let's start in Madrid, Spain. They have a tendency perhaps to be a bit drier and warmer uh, during the summer months than, than New York City. Next stop, Naples, Italy. Here, the weather is influenced by the water, according to Greg Carbon of the Weather Prediction Center. It has a tendency to be a little bit warmer in the summer, uh, perhaps about the same amount of precipitation uh, around the rest of the year. Italy's weather is also influenced by the Mediterranean Sea and warm, dry air masses coming from Africa, a different atmospheric setup from New York. In New York in the winter, we get the air sometimes coming straight down from Canada. Whereas in, in Naples, you know, it's usually tempered a little bit by the Mediterranean Sea. They don't actually get, you know, temperatures generally below freezing that often. Next stop on the 40 degree latitude line is Istanbul, Turkey. It's a little bit similar to Naples where they have coasts quite a lot around them. Um, so again, the temperatures are a little bit a little bit tempered. In China, winters in Beijing are greatly influenced by Arctic Siberian air. The extremes in winter in Beijing may be greater than those you would see in New York City. Temperatures could really plummet. In fact, in one year, in 2006, they had the worst winter they ever had where temperatures were sustained at around 16 below zero. In the spring, they actually get the air coming across from the Gobi Desert. So that also brings like poor, poor air quality. Sometimes they get sand, dust storms associated with that. Northern California has a reverse situation from New York City. There you've got a cooling influence from the Pacific Ocean. That cooler maritime air mass greatly affects coastal cities like San Francisco, which experiences fog throughout the year. Out of all of the cities we've reviewed here, probably the most unusual one would be uh, California because of the influence of the Pacific Ocean just to its west. It kind of teaches you just how volatile and, and versatile weather is and how you constantly are learning something new every day. I'm meteorologist Audrey Puente, Fox 5 News.